I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking, too. Go and check them out. Apparently, they're from Denmark. <laughs> they are? You can tell using your horsey powers? <laughs> when I tap you on the shoulder, please state your name and where you're from. My name is Jorn. I'm from Denmark, Copenhagen. Yeah. Oh. oh, really? Yeah. And? I'm, my name is Birgitte, and I'm from Denmark, too. Have you two ever met before? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here in the United States? Well, we are with some film students, and he's the teacher, and I'm uh, teaching drama, and he's teaching film. I so, see. Yes. Excuse me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, spies? <laughs> Then, if you are teachers of film, <laughs> uh, what are you here for? This is a cheap television. It's not really even a television show. It's just why are you? Because it's free. Because it's free, right? Yeah, totally. Ah, totally. See. Are you having a nice time then in Los yeah, Angeles? Definitely. Are you seeing all the different studios and such? A lot, yes. Mm, are your students enjoying themselves? Yes. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're up there. Yes, if you were really Danish, you wouldn't have drawn attention to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> the Danish are the Canadians of Europe. <laughs> they are reserved, wily, and cautious with ham. <laughs> However, good news. How many uh, film students do you have with you? Twenty. Twenty? That'll be fine, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> CBS, in their munificence, would like to offer a meal not only for you, but for your 20 film students. <laughs> and, and, and you can drink, too. <laughs> and if you don't do it, you're a racist! <laughs> okay, but in order to get this free meal out of CBS, you have to answer one question. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, uh, you guys into Kierkegaard? I love about a Kierkegaard. He was Danish, you know? He was, yes. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Obel, only the noble of heart are called to difficulty. That was Kierkegaard, wasn't it? I beg your pardon? Come on! <laughs> Christian existentialism of the 19th century. Yeah. <laughs> Spies. Anyway. Anyway, uh, here's the question. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. <laughs> is the correct answer? You and your friends are the winning on it. <laughs> where, where are they going? Right next door. Wood Ranch next door. <laughs> That's a great restaurant, no? I, yeah, and, and you'll find reasonably priced. Not that that'll matter, though, because uh, you'll be, uh, it'll be all free. And when you go back to Denmark, mm -hmm. you tell everyone in the northern Europe, uh, in the border with Scandinavia, are you Scandinavian or European? Scandinavian and European. Oh, right. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can see why Hamlet was Danish, can't you? <laughs> oh, yeah, we're done. Uh, well, when you get back to uh, uh, Europe and Scandinavia, tell everyone there that everyone in America loves them, and whenever they visit, they eat for free. <laughs>
The Late Bake Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by... Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. You just, you just put me into a love oven and baked me into a sex pie. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I heard the warm-up comedian. We call him. Yeah, he's not a comedian. He's not a comedian, he's not a comedian. no, <laughs> but... No. But he said before he came out, he said, Oh, great, when he comes out, I'll put him in a love oven and bake him into a sex pie. Sex pie. <laughs> I'm like, I'm on my way. <laughs> Here I am, hot and ready. Yeah. Sex pie. A sex pie. Have you ever had a sex pie? Yeah, many, many times. But I always, I always cut off the crust. <laughs> Just saying. That's one of those things that it sounds like a joke, but it's, right, not it's not really not a, not joke. a joke. I do a lot of those here. Have you noticed yeah, that? Yeah, I know. I was Let's like, do... I say some things and then finish them like that. <laughs> not a joke. Yeah, no. <laughs> I may have revealed too much. <laughs> this is as good as it gets, folks. Yeah, that's right. Oh, you know what's, what hurts tonight? I've got something hurting back here. Oh, what's wrong? What's well, it's my numsa. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> numsa is Danish for ass. Your ass. ass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you ever had a Danish sex pie? I watched that film once. <laughs> <laughs> Weren't we in that movie? Yeah, together. Yeah, we did yeah, yeah. that film. And we're going to be doing a lot more after December. <laughs> Great day for America, everybody. It was game. It was game one of the World Series tonight, wasn't it? Great. I loved the part where the guy swung and the guy scored and the other guy scratched his nuts. <laughs> then I watched the baseball. Ha ha ha! Not really a joke. <laughs> The Kansas City Royals haven't been in the World Series since 1985, and things were very different back then. Uh, tensions were high with Russia, Congress was locked up in partisan bickering, my career was in the dumps. <laughs> <laughs> These are all bad examples yeah. that I just yeah. used. <laughs> in Sa if San Francisco wins the World Series, you can expect a big parade. If, if San Francisco loses the World Series, you can expect a big parade. <laughs> If you ever go to San Francisco, you can expect a big parade. Yeah. And also, a great new congratulations to the British royal family. It was officially announced that Prince William and Kiki Wigglesworth are expecting their second child now. Yeah, second. It's their second. second. Yeah, Kiki Wigglesworth. That's his wife's name. Yeah, that's the name. Prince William and Kiki Wigglesworth. That's right. Yeah, they're happily married for a long time now. Yeah, we're giving out if she, When she becomes queen, she will be Queen Kiki. Queen Kiki. <laughs> queen Kiki Wigglesworth of England. That's right. <laughs> anyway, uh, they've got their, they've got Prince William and uh, Lady Kiki. Uh, their their uh, babies are arriving in April. I hope the baby's born on Easter, because then it could be visited by that you know big-eared fella with the eggs. Do we have a picture of the big-eared fella <laughs> with the eggs? There he is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, man. That was a lot of horsing around to show a photograph, wasn't it? Uh, scientists have done a virtual autopsy on King Tut's body. They say that King Tut had buck teeth and a club foot. But uh, I'm thinking if you want to know what King Tut looked like, just ask Larry King. Right. <laughs> ah. <laughs> he had buck teeth and a club foot. <laughs> Did you hear about Hillary Clinton was in Hollywood last night? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she raised $2 million at a Hollywood fundraiser last night. 
I'm like, wow. I did, she didn't say where she was going to spend the money, but I saw a photo of her today. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> commercial break. Commercial break. Yeah, sure. You're watching The Late Late Show. We've got your 18 to 34 demographic right here, Grandma. <laughs> Pretty bad music. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. I got excited. I was singing along. I got excited. Welcome back, everyone, to the uh, Danish uh, show. Yeah. <laughs> We're celebrating all things Danish. All things Danish tonight. We're celebrating. Do you know that it was uh, in Denmark where playing cards were invented? No, that's not true. <laughs> <laughs> At least I don't think it is, but it could be. Your move, Wikipedia. <laughs> What facts do you know about Denmark, Jeff? That the people there are great. <laughs> Not all of them. There's a couple of bad seeds, and they're in our audience tonight. <laughs> yeah. No. 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 Um, all right. Uh, what time is it, Jeffrey? Perry? It's tweet mail time brought to you by Uncle Bjorn's Danish sex pies. If you don't know what's in it... <laughs> If you don't know what's in it, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Yeah, man! Play the Django! <laughs> Down the end, cover and don't look back. Here comes an email and Twitter attack. Giant freaky monsters crushing our city. It's a jumbo lizard tracking committee. So grab your Reagan and your rocket back. Hello? Hello? Hel hello? Who's this? It's Soren Kierkegaard. <laughs> Soren Kierkegaard? Yes. 19th century Danish Christian existentialist? Yes, in the flash. How are you? <laughs> in the flash? How am I? In the flash, yes. I heard you talking about me. So I thought it's a hello. Hello. <laughs> Did you have a question for me? You called me. What the hell's going on over there? Ah, uh, it's Soren Kierkegaard. Oh, oh, I got it. Okay, sorry. I don't want to interrupt. Aren't you surprised he's calling me from beyond the grave? I'm shocked, but you never know who's going to call this show, Craig. Are you still there? Everybody else can hear this, right? No, only you, Craig. Am I possessed in some way? No, you're the caretaker, Craig. You've always been the caretaker. <laughs> but soon, your job will be over. Your work here is done, my friend. I have haggis in my mouth. <laughs> Hello? I'm still here. Oh, okay. Very strange. It's getting very strange. I feel that we should have some scary music. Yeah. And then maybe the phone call. I don't want to answer it in case they're in the house. <laughs> Hello? Hello, Craig. Now that you have the music, it is more effective, you know? It's actually a bit scary. <laughs> I'm kind of scared myself. <laughs> Let's not do this. OK, goodbye. All right. Uh, All right, cheerful music, Cheer cheerful music. Ah, yeah. You know? This reminds me of a story of when I went to old Copenhagen with my buddy Jeffrey Peterson. Yeah. Do you remember we walked through the 
Tivoli Gardens. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite area. And what did we sing when we were there, Jeff? We sang... Remember, it was a song from the public domain. <laughs> that's right. Why, it was that old standard, Do You Know the Muffin Man? <laughs> Do you know the Muffin Man? The Muffin Man, the Muffin Man. This is scarier than the scary thing. We'll be right back. November Man is out on the Blu-ray and the DVD on November the 25th. Take a look at this. That's how I got to work today. That's exactly the same thing. Pierce Brosnan, everybody! For you, Pierce, they're going crazy. Oh. It's the it's the Danish you're in, you know, tonight. Is that what it is? Yeah, they're here to see you. You ever been That's to Denmark? A, I have. I did a beautiful film there called Love Is All You Need. Gorgeous film. Oh, actually. really? Yeah. That's nice. Oh, yeah, that's one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Susanna Bear, a wonderful director called Susanna Bear. And um, anyway, check out Love Is All You Need. Well, yeah, yeah. That, I, we, so. we should probably talk about the one you're plugging, though. <laughs> Remember, man, the, this one. Yeah. Action it, packed. It took a while to get there, but we finally got there. Don't they all? They do. Some, do well, some of them come together pretty quickly, but this one was about five years in the making. It's and good, uh, though, man. It's like, this is it, because they call you the November man, because you're like November. Like, once you're done, everything's dead. Well, it, 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 <laughs> well that's, that's, that's one of the reasons. And also, in the books, all the agents have different kind of uh, names of the seasons and stuff like this. Oh, like months. My Little Pony. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, or the May Man. Oh, all right, all right. No, 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 not quite. I want to be April. <laughs> You'd make a good April. <laughs> I shower you with menace. <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you like it. No, no. it? <laughs> no, it's all right. It's all right. It's good. It's good. Right. Yeah, yeah. Good. No, it's a, it's a return to the action business. Well, I thought, you know, I thought there was enough time between my days as James Bond. You're a good you know? Bond man. You were yeah. a good Bond. Yeah. It was, uh, it, was a, it was a good time. Thank you very much. You know, it was, uh, I mean, it was life-changing in many sure. ways. You know, you know, without James Bond, there wouldn't be a November man. And right. I wouldn't be able to have my own company, Irish Dreamtime, and make movies like Thomas Crown or The Matador. Thomas so, Crown. There you go. Crown, I love that film. Thomas Crown is a great one. You know, because I, when I heard you were, this is just a few years back, Thomas Crown, though, now, isn't it? Yeah, it was about 10, 12. But 15. I remember when I heard you were making it, because it was a Steve McQueen movie. Mm -hmm. And I was like, ah, oh, you can't do that. And then you did it, it was awesome. Yeah. That scene with a boat in the New York <clears throat> Harbor when you're doing the sailing thing. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, I, yeah. I went to the bathroom a little bit during that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fantastic. It well, made me want to go sailing. Well, that was nuts, because I remember being out in the harbor with that, and they had me on this Australian rig, which is a 45 foot rig and you're out there on the ladder and I said well what do they do and they said well they don't do anything they just hang off the rig yeah so but it looked like that was enough to be honest uh, <laughs> like what did you want to do well I just said throw me a rope I said throw me a rope and they said but they don't use ropes I said but it's gonna look good you know as I'm hanging off doing oh, like doing a bit of rope acting yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Been doing it all my life, for God's sake. You know? I think I think it was fantastic. Are you a sailor? Do you do sailing? No. 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 I tried it after I saw that, and then I was like, this is kind of like you don't do anything. 
You're just uh, going to sit there and wait no, until... No, it can be quite enjoyable, though, if you go out on a nice boat. On a nice day, yeah, but it's not action-packed. <laughs> well, if you're on a big rig like those Australian boats, those catamarans, they're fierce. Yeah, I know. Well, that's not what I was on, though. No, and you were what? I was, I was going out like to that? Catalina on a little rented boat. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, that's nice. Well, no, no. no, we'll have to go out sailing together. No, oh, let's not. Let's do something else. What do you like to do to get, you know, get the old blood pumping? Uh, paddleboard. <laughs> oh, that thing? A paddleboard. I yeah. quite fancy that. I've seen no, people doing that. You know, with the, the uh, yes. Kind of, you know, you have your pole in your hand and... I always do. I always do. Well, well it's a good one. Okay. Have you ever seen out, uh, because uh, you live out uh, by the coast there, yeah, have you ever seen uh, sharks or critters when you're out there paddle boarding? No. No. Thank God I haven't. Well, I've heard of the stories, but no, I've never seen I think, I, I was out I kayak once, I think I got hit by a shark. <laughs> really? How do you mean? You were... Well, something came along, it was a perfectly calm sea, something came along, <laughs> hit the boat, and I flew out of the, uh, and, it, and also, coincidentally, it was during shark week. So... <laughs> How do you mean you hit the boat? You were, you were on a paddle boat? I was on a kayak. On? I was on a little kayak oh, on really? my own. And I can't see something came up from under, hit the kayak, I come out, and then I fell in the water. And then I started trying to pull the kayak towards the shore. And then I thought, Tootsie Fruits, the yeah. kayak. <laughs> and then I, and I, I swam. Well, it could shore. have been a dolphin. It, it could have been, been a dolphin, dolphin but it could have been a shark. Yeah, it could have been a shark as well. I think you would have known about it, though, if it was a shark. Yeah, I don't know. Have you ever, have you ever seen a shark, like, up close? No, not really. No, no. I, well, in Hawaii, we have a little place out there, and uh, they sometimes... You've got reef sharks there. They yeah, come around. black tip yeah. sharks and bull sharks and stuff like that. But you that. want to stay away from the bull shark. That's a bitey shark. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a very aggressive... That's a lot of testosterone. That's like you in shark form. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. How did this horse ever get into the picture? You know, I can't oh, remember. I, I, I think we did a... What? He's throwing gang signs to you right now, though. You is see that? that? I don't think he... I think he's playing with himself. I don't know what the hell he's doing. I, I, <laughs> uh, he's doing cocaine, <laughs> and, then he, and then he's throwing gang so, signs. Yeah, so that's... distracting. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry that it, I know it catches the eye. It's yes. something that happened. I think a few years back we were doing a sketch and then we got the costume and it felt yeah. right to keep going. <laughs> that's, how, that's how movies come together. You must know that. That's, it how, is. that's how James Bond started. They had a pair of trousers. They thought, this would be good for a secret. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is the same guy in there all these years? Yeah, same, yeah. Two, same two guys. Same, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they take turns of being top and bottom. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Yeah. Did you ever do pantomime? I did do pantomime, did do pantomime? actually. Did you ever do pantomime? I did pantomime. That's yeah. why really the horse is here. I think that's probably... Pantomime is a very successful form of theatre in Britain. In Britain every yeah. actor, every Christmas always works in pantomime. Oh. And there's always one of those. Yeah. And maybe sometimes a gay robot skeleton, but not that one. Ah. <laughs> I never knew he was gay, actually. There you go. Oh. Yeah. yeah. If you didn't know that, you're doing it wrong. Oh. Sorry. I'm sorry, man. Bem I'm bones, sorry. I'm bones, sorry. Bones. I'm sorry, Pierce Brown. No, that's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> hey, uh, what pantomime did you do, Pierce? I did. Uh, oh God, what was it? I did The Wizard of Oz. Who did yeah. you play then? I was a chocolate tree. <laughs> I, I was an Italian chocolate tree. I, an but, Italian chocolate? Yeah, I, I, I was... was that, that's not in the movie, no, is it's it? Not in, it's not in the movie, no, but th there are trees in the movies, yeah, th th in the movie. And, um, oh, I was, I was out of drama school, and uh, I was acting, yeah, as I am, acting assistant stage manager at the York Theatre Royal. That's which, a pretty good theatre. It was a very good theatre, yeah. and still is a good theatre, but I was in pantomime, and it was just... It's a beautiful time of it's the season. It's a good time of life, man, when you're, like, early 20s. Yeah. Everybody's young, fit, and single. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you must have ripped yeah. it up. Yeah, you too, my well, friend. Where, where, did you, where, where did you do your theater? Sterling McRobert Center. I played the Chinese policeman. <laughs> oh, God. With a deeply racist production of Aladdin. <laughs> oh, it was shocking, man, shocking. Yeah. And now, did you go off to drama school? Did you do No, that? no, I didn't do drama school. I, was, I did acid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, I mean, I know they're not uh, mutually uh, exclusive, uh, but... 
Yeah. Happy Masters, baby. Yeah, that was... Does it every time. Yeah. Yeah, I never did that. No, it's... Listen, I wouldn't recommend it. It's no. not good. No. Stayed away. Yeah, you ended up... I mean, you wouldn't have been born. You'd have been a late night TV <laughs> Coming, you're getting near the end. Getting near the end. Getting near the end. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. Well, you got it all figured out here? Sure, after? I'm going to walk yeah. the earth solving crimes. <laughs> there you are. Very good. Where are you going to start? You know, any idea? Start West Hollywood, there. probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, Some crimes over there. There are a lot of crimes. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it'll be very fertile ground. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Hell, man, that's a perfectly decent thing to say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to take a commercial break where I'm going to talk to these Danish people about their behaviour. <laughs> and we'll be right back. We'll be right back with Pierce Bros and everybody. <laughs> Here with Pierce Brosnan, we're talking about the November Man, which is out on the the DVD and the the Blu-ray. Blu yeah. yeah. What is Blu-ray? Because I don't know, and you no, don't. I don't know. No, I don't know. I think it's DVD, I'm... but really good. And it's blue. And, and it's, it's blue. beautiful. It's big, high definition. Big Blu-ray. They got high definition. You you must have a big TV in your house now. I got a big TV, but I don't know how to use it. So you know, my kids know how to use it. I go away. I go to work. I come home. I forget the code. I can't. The I can't. I, I'm like totally grandpa with the TV now. I'm like, hey, can someone turn it on? Yeah. <laughs> it happens. It happens like that. But um, oh, you seem to be doing all right. You, you mean you're all handsome and stuff? Still look like James Bond. <laughs> there you go. Um, well, long may it last. It's all. How will last? Fine. Do you do a lot? Of, do you do a lot of the keep fit? I do a bit of keep fit, yeah. What I, mean, do you I do get then? on the bike, I hike, and uh, yeah, stay out. Go down to the gym, so, you know, and I, I I do the paddle boarding, and and I worry, you know, <laughs> stress. What stress you, is what always. Do you, good. What, do you, what do you stress about? You can't. You be worry stressing. about the kids. You worry about oh, the next well, yeah. job. You worry about whatever. Do you still yeah. worry about the next job oh, even always, now? Always do. Really? Yeah. yeah Come uh, on, man. You're crikey. a movie star. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. <Yeah. laughs> It's not like it's not like you you're just a movie star. I mean, you've been a movie star for a long time. I, I, an actor. I've been an actor a long time. Well, yeah, so, an actor so, who you know. And I do movies. Stars in a lot of big movies. <laughs> movies. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I think you're going to be okay. Is what well, I'm saying. <laughs> No, I think I'm, I'm easing into the okayness of it. But, however, you, you just can't take it for granted. And I just... No, that's... You really can't, because uh, you want to keep up and you want to stay at the table for as long as you can. Yeah. And there's always that next job is going to be the best one. It's the one where you're going to really nail it. Do you, and, st uh, you still have a hunger like that for it? Mm, that's yeah. great, man. That's why, that's why yeah. you're still a very successful sure. actor. Because some people do things for a long time and then just get bored and want to leave. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna miss you. Nah, nah. We're gonna miss you. You'll be fine. Yeah, I know. Needs. I know. It's a weird knee. It's a it's real a strange knee. It is. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, never, you, you don't, oh. don't touch that unless you're serious. Cause. Oh. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, we're out of time. Is that it? Yeah. You want right. to fancy an awkward pause quickly? An awkward pause? Yeah. Awkward oh, pause. I haven't seen or heard the awkward pause well, in a long just, time. Just an awkward pause. Okay. <laughs>
next guest is a beautiful, enchanting, very talented actress. Her latest film, Listen Up, Philip, is available on demand starting today. Take a look at this. <laughs> Kristen Ritter, everybody. Kristen Ritter. insecure about this outfit, I'm yeah, not going to lie. Yeah, I kind of get that from you. Why are you insecure about it? It looks great. You don't think I look like a slutty tennis player? No. <laughs> First of all, yeah, it's, it's kind of like you've got a Greek-looking motif here. That's great. Even that, better. That's great. And, and you, 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 no, you look fantastic. You look winsome and intelligent. Thank you. And beautiful. Thank you. And you smell great. Do I really? Yes, you do. That's just me. I don't wear anything. Wow. I don't wear perfume, deodorant, nothing. That's just you like your natural it's musk. That's my natural musk. Whoa, well, well, you should bottle it. Okay. You know. Hey, you in that in the in the, in the movie there, yeah. uh, Jason Schwartzman was there, right? He's so funny. He's lovely, and he's here often. He's, he's here tomorrow. Oh well, then then you then I know. And <laughs> but the other older gentleman, that is Jonathan Price there, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I'm a big he fan. He plays of my dad. Yeah, he's so. he's very uh, very good, you know. Yeah, there's a lot of good actors in that movie. I yeah, yeah and you're one of them. Well done. Yeah. And your outfit's great, and you smell fantastic. Thank you. Feel a little better? Yeah, thank you. I yeah, no, you. it's although all... I didn't get to pick my mug this time. Well, why not? This mug is just here. They just gave you, you the just gray didn't mug. Let me pick a color. Oh well, we're running low. Can I keep this? We don't want to. We don't. Yeah, you, we can't get any more made. We've run out of money. I know. I'm so bummed. Yeah, don't worry this about it. This will be my last time coming on your show. Aww. You're my favorite one to do. You know why? <laughs> last time I was here. Yes. You gave me this. This I gave you a snake mug. mug. Yeah, I gave and you... I have it. Yeah, good. And the time before that, you gave me a coconut. I see. So you want a gift? I would like a gift. I'm really into free I, stuff. I have something for you. What do you have? A rusty trombone. Okay. You have a lot of stuff over here. There you go. Okay, thanks. See? It works. Give me the one. All you have to do is ask. Kind of a yard sale. Where should but, I, where should I put this? Well, you, you can't, uh, no, you can't. I mean, I'll, not with the outfit. I don't No, think. no, you don't want to, you don't want to blow Did a rusty like trombone wearing in that. <laughs> How are you anyway? Good? Yeah, I'm mm. good. I cut my hair off. No, oh, no, you haven't. It looks fine. It was, <laughs> it was much longer. Yeah, it was longer, but you know, that's what happens sometimes. Ladies' hair's long, hair short. Yeah, you know. I did it myself though. I should. Wah. I, I, I had it professionally done, and then I cut it more. I can't be left home alone with scissors. Well, don't you have a friend to be in your house with you to take the scissors away? I live by myself. You live by yourself? Me and my dog. What kind of a dog? A terrier chihuahua. You live course. by yourself. Yeah. Because yeah. that a terrier chihuahua is the dog version of a cat. No, he's not. No, he's not. Yes, I know about dogs. Uh, he's very sturdy. Yeah, so are a lot of cats. He's scrappy. He's not like a cat at all. Mm -hmm. He does tricks. Cats Does he sleep don't on do your tricks. bed? Does he sleep on your bed? Yes, he sleeps in my bed. Of course he sleeps in, his, in, my, in my bed. Does your dog sleep in your bed? No way. Why? First of all, I got three, and one of them is a German Shepherd. Okay, well, yeah. if he fit in your bed, would he sleep in your bed? Yes. See? <laughs> But he's too hairy and smelly. I know. My dog smells real bad. Yeah, we used to try having a French bulldog. I have another one of those. Why? What's, why? They smell very bad. Why? What's, what about I don't know a why bulldog? they smell so bad. I think it's something to do with their bottoms. Oh, God. Because, well, you have to get those things expressed. Do you know what I mean? Those things. I think it's something to do with their <laughs> bottoms. Oh, my God. Yeah, anyway. All right. So you good? I'm good. Is the movie good? Yeah, the movie's good. Okay, that's good, because you got good actors there. Yeah, we got good yeah, actors. That's the top-notch actors going on. What happens in the movie? Um, it's about, like, this kind of jerk artist, author guy who walks around um, being mean to everybody. But it's I really can't funny. wait. Yeah. It comes out this weekend. Right. Um, that's good. Did you have a yeah. premiere? 
Uh, the premiere was last week in New York, and I I missed it. You missed it because you're a little bit of a shut-in. I'm a shut-in. Yeah, no. I have actually been leaving the house a little bit more lately. Have you? Yeah. Good. What have you been doing? I've been getting up early and going to yoga. Um, I've been going out for lunch. Um, nice. That's this is all progress. Work stuff. I've been leaving the house. This is for. good. I'm very excited about this. This is great. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> So you're going out, you're going for lunch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing anyone uh, romantically? I am. Oh, that's <laughs> lovely. That's good. So you're going out with your friend for yeah. lunch. Yeah, my friend for lunch. And does your friend go to yoga with you too? Sometimes. Oh, that's nice. Is it hot yoga? Uh, no, I don't know. I'm not really into the hot yoga because I like to uh, create my own heat. <laughs> Slower. <laughs> I do actually, yeah. 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 I've I heard do. that you have you've become vegan. I have, sorta. I How's had a steak at the weekend. Oh, you're steak at the weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, like how you yeah, feel? I do. Yeah, I do like it. I, I feel good actually. Do you have? Are do you cook or do you have somebody cooking for you? Well, that makes it a little easier, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't cook, but I, do, I wouldn't go as far as to say I have someone cooking for me. You go to restaurants. I'm. I live in a house with my wife, okay. and she <laughs> cooks, but only because she wants to. Oh, not got because it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, so your wife is doing it as well. You're doing the vegan thing. Yeah, she doesn't do so much. You know, she kind of like eats a little bit of, uh, you know, she eats milky a little bit things. Of well, she's from a dairy farm. It's very tricky to. I'm you know. from a farm too. Really? Yeah. What kind of things did you farm in your farm? It was cattle. It wasn't right. a dairy farm. No lambs. Do you hear the lambs, Clarice? Like none of that? No, we didn't have any lambs. Mm. Nothing creepy like that. <laughs> so just what beef? Yeah, beef and chicken. Well, this sounds like a tasty farm. And, and, and dogs and cats. No, I wouldn't eat those. No, we no. need And vegetables. We, you know, not really vegetables. We just had corn and onions. Well, that's... But I like onions, so... Really? Even before yoga? Yeah, all the time. My mom used to find me in the closet eating them like apples. Would, I can eat raw onions, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I eat raw onions. Do you hide in closets and eat them? Not anymore. That's weird. <laughs> Now, is that a, what kind old. of pipe is this? Is this a vapor? It's, a, it's my pipe when I'm it's pretending a, to be a therapist. It's just a prop. Yeah. It doesn't sort actually. It doesn't have crack in it. It doesn't no. have crack in it. Do you smoke the crack? I don't smoke crack. Okay, just <laughs> that. Perfectly decent question. We're in Hollywood, you know. No, I don't smoke the crack. Oh, okay, just wondered. <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. <laughs> Kristen Ritter, everybody, we're Thank right you. back. Well, the show's eight minutes over. <laughs> so you know what that means? No, I don't. Actually. No, I don't. I don't either. I was just what well. I don't know. I think what happens is that even in, it, the, through the miracle of television, even a live show will be not eight minutes over right. by the time we get to this. But if you're asking yourself, that seemed weird. Some bits seem to be missing. You're right. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs>